Welcome to the broadcast. Our sign language interpreter is Philip Omondi and I am Ashley Mazuri. ODM leader Rilo Dinga is now open to working with Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa despite their political differences. Raila says this is to ensure that the government adopts the one man, one vote, one shilling revenue sharing formula. The opposition chief has also welcomed Gashagwa's recent about turn on the one man, one vote, one shilling formula, likening him to the biblical Saul who saw the light and became poor. KTN's political affairs reporter David Mudoka starts us off. <laughs> The raging debate over the one man, one vote, one shilling revenue sharing formula is likely to unite two political rivals, Raila Odinga and Rigathi Gashagwa. This is after ODM leader Raila Odinga on Thursday at a meeting with the organizers of the recently held Limuru 3 event said he was ready to close ranks with any leader, including Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, to ensure that the government adopts the formula in sharing resources among Kenyans. I'm working with everybody in this country, nobody specifically. Uh, uh, President Gashagwa is, is a member of, of, of the government, and as you know yesterday, the government uh, pledged that they are going to support my bid. AU and I said uh, I, mean, I thank them so he is um, uh, he's seen the light he's become he's a soul who has not become a pawn <laughs> in recent weeks Gashagua has been making a case for the one man one vote one shilling formula especially in his populous Mount Kenya backyard since the formula advocates for the allocation of more resources to regions with higher populations. The remarks have been seen to put Gashagwa and his boss, President William Ruto, who has been silent on the debate at crossroads after the two, Ruto and Gashagwa, fiercely opposed the Building Bridges initiative that proposed the one man, one vote, one shilling formula while campaigning for office. In matters revenue sharing, Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, is a believer and a proponent of one man, one vote, one shilling. Resources are about people. Raila and other leaders who met him said that the formula is the best way to ensure that no Kenyan is discriminated against or left behind. The mantra of one man, one vote, one chaining is a thing that we are not going to relent pushing, not because it benefits uh, people in the mountain, that's far from it. It actually benefits every other person in this country. We do not suggest and cannot possibly suggest that for resources more resources to go to the region commonly known as Mount Kenya that you must take them from elsewhere. And that is not what we mean. The opposition leader also delved into the Finance Bill 2024 debate, which he termed as utterly oppressive. Kenyans are hurting. But I'm going to talk about that on another occasion, not today. For the past two weeks, Parliament has been collecting views from Kenyans and experts on the bill, with a majority of Kenyans opposing it. Twelve months ago, at a time like this, the opposition failed to stop the passing of the Finance Bill 2023. While the minority had their say, the majority had their way. This time round, it remains to be seen what strategies the opposition will be putting into place to ensure the Finance Bill 2024, which will surely increase more taxes on the overburdened Kenyans, will not pass. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. For the second